Hey, what's up guys? Lance here. Hey, I just wanted to update you guys on some projects. It's been a while since I've uh, uploaded a video and kind of wanted to give you an update on some of the stuff I'm working on. I like to do these videos when I'm, you know, driving home after a day at the range, but I haven't had one of those in a couple weeks, so I figured I'd just do it here at the at the bench. So, I wanted to give you guys some updates on some new stuff and um, let you know where we're at on some products and um, some stuff that we're uh, working on here. So, Let's let's see here. Um, let's start with the bench. So if you guys uh, you know haven't noticed, this is obviously a new bench. Uh, my brother, um, who used to do work in woodworking, uh, helped me uh, build this last weekend. And by help, I mean he did most of the work. And I said, hey, put this here. <laughs> and so as you can see, uh, workbench is done. Got some decent lighting up here. Got one of these uh, LED uh, workshop lights. So should put out decent light. I may add another one. I'm not sure how much. Light is going to put down here for the uh, for the videos I want to shoot on it. But yeah, the wife and I bought a house not too long ago, and we've just been super super busy, which is the main reason why you guys haven't seen stuff. So we've just been running all all over the place, you know, trying to get stuff done. So uh, got this guy built, and now I finally have a place to shoot videos. So uh, over the past year, we we've been we've been renting, uh, trying to find a house. So I haven't had the ability to build my own bench, and now that we do have one here, I expect much better lighting and expect more work, workshop videos again. So I'm pretty excited about this guy. It turned out really good. So cutting around this pipe was was real fun. I'm not sure why they run this pipe right through here, but uh, it goes kind of down below the bottom of the bench and then out the side. So we had to work around that. But um, yeah, it turned out really good. Lots of pegboard space. I gotta get finished getting my tools put up over here. Uh, I really have like hardly anything up right now. So, and uh, just stuck these guys up here for some videos. But, um, Back to some newer gear. Uh, this is that 11.3 inch um, Wilson Combat air pistol build. And it has on it right now the primary arms um, ACSS uh, micro dot. Uh, this is the, the newer red dot. Um, Hollow Sun makes it, but it is exclusive to primary arms and it has their, their um, micro CQB ACSS reticle that'll take you out to, I wanna say, I think 600 yards. So um, haven't had a chance to get that out yet. I've really just done a quick zero based off of my my iron sights or my backup irons on this guy, which are zeroed. So I'm looking to take that out this weekend uh, and get that guy get that guy zeroed. Should be fun. I'm um, gonna get some video of that. And I do have a rear magnifier of theirs as well. Mount it there or mount it up there. I'll stick it here for now. But um, yeah, 3x magnifier. Gonna do some playing with that as well. The Samson 3.5X I got loaned out to a buddy, so I can't do a direct comparison yet, but as soon as I get that back from him, I, um, I will. So 3X and, you know, obviously red dot and no power. So this is really cool. I like it so far. It turns on real quick. One of the things I liked about these um, and was interested about these when I first saw them was they have that uh, auto off feature, and then as soon as they detect movement, they do auto on. And it's really, really fast. And in fact, it detects movement so fast that um, I was wondering if it just wasn't turning off. But um, I did sit it down once and uh, tried to pick it up. And yeah, it turns on really fast. But um, got an ADM mount on there as well. Uh, moving over here, I have a um, uh, Primer Arms 3X Prism. This is uh, another optic I think you guys have seen before. I've shown some first person video of this before. Uh, ACSS reticle. Uh, again, I think this one will get you out to 600 yards. This is a uh, 3x, 3x optic. Really like this guy. Eye box is really forgiving. Uh, for front to rear, uh, eye release really forgiving as well. Much better than like a, a TA31. The eye box is I, is pretty huge compared to like your TA31 or your RCO ACOGs, um, like this guy up here. Um, so should be fun again to shoot that guy. We'll get some more video of that. I also have a Burris. Uh, XTR2, two and a, or sorry, two to ten. Uh, this is the two to ten, and I believe it's a. Uh, I'll double check. Forty-two millimeter objective. But I've um, done some playing with the XTR2s on that uh, build we did recently with that Christensen Arm 16-inch carbon fiber wrapped barrel. Um, I like the XTR uh, that it was a five to fifteen so much that I'm, I I, I uh, grabbed this two to ten. So I got the um, phone scope hooked up to it now. I was getting some first-person video earlier. And I got some accessories over here, which I can probably just move to this side as I go down because they kind of go with that. So um, put up a video not too long ago of that Faxon uh, lightweight barrel that you see here. And this thing's super light. I've been wanting to do a lightweight air build for a while now. 
Um, and I have this uh, BCM KMR 13 inch alpha rail that I really been needing to do something with. And of course this thing's super light as well, so I figured I'd just um, use that on it. So I picked up a uh, uh, Magpul SL uh, pistol grip. This is their light, lighter, slimmer pistol grip. Um, doesn't have the compartments inside. Again, kind of going towards the lightweight aspect. Uh, and then this is the Magpul, let me double check, SL-K, which is their really short um, light stock. It's not quite as light as the, uh, I think it's Mission First Tactical, those uh, stocks that kind of come down and just have an, an L shape here. Um, I'm not a huge fan of those. I've seen a couple pictures of them breaking, but my main concern is just snags, and you hardly ever see them without like a huge piece of like 550 braided cord bridging that gap because they're just so easy to snag on stuff. So I just wanted something that's uh, smaller, a little bit more compact, and this thing's still super light. Let me move over here and compare it to the, uh, uh, this is the STR stock, Magpul STR. So you can see the little bit of a height difference there and a little bit of a length difference as well. Move this up here and do that. There you go. So, um, and one more item here that I want to update you on. Ignore my Gander Mountain mat. I have a updated superlative arms uh, adjustable gas clock. Um, still doing the set screws, and this one is a little bit improved over the one that I have and this is this is gonna go in the 16 inch 308 which I don't have out here right now you guys have, have seen it I assume if you haven't seen it go check out our AR10 series we call it an AR10 even though it's technically an LR308 most people just uh, call it an AR10 I just dropped a pin I'm gonna have to dig that out but um getting this guy one of my complaints about the original one we had a pretty early version was that these adjustments were kind of mushy and you'll see here I'm moving this left to right, I'm not sure if you can tell. There's no more play in there at all. And moving them, I'll be quiet here. Go the wrong way. Let's go the other way. They click now. So there's a much more positive um, much more positive clicks on this guy. And um, I'm going to go into detail again on this one a little bit more too. So I've been talking with, um, I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, it's a pearl of arms. Talked to him a while back. I uh, got some more information from him because I uh, was curious a little bit how they operate. So basically what you do is you, you install this guy. Um, all the way closed is all the way closed. You back it out. Uh, let me check here. Four and a half revolutions. So you back this guy out four and a half turns and then you're fully open on the traditional gas box setting. And then um, once you get past that, then you're fully opened on the... Uh, blow up blowbacks or the uh, bleed off settings. So what you want to do if you want to utilize the bleed off settings is actually uh, back this guy all the way out and it should stop. But anyway, back this guy all the way out. And stop and keep going. Okay, looks like we can unscrew it. So I'm gonna have to do some counting on the revolutions to get exactly the number of turns. But you back it all the way out on the 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 bleed off settings and then once you start tightening it up um, clockwise that's when you start um, closing it or uh, opening it up rather so that's when you start opening up so you want to basically work the opposite way that you normally would uh, and then you're bleeding out the front which comes out this port here sorry to the best of my knowledge um, so again gonna get into those settings here soon so anyway that's about it, I think, for me. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about the the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor upper with our AR-10 project, um, and I'm anxious to get going on that, too. That one um, is kind of uh, put on the shelf right now. Not permanently, but it's going to be a little bit longer before I get that one out. Uh, just super busy with stuff, uh, getting stuff ready. Um, the wife and I um, found out that we are uh, having a baby not too long ago, so... We're kind of prepping for that as well, and I think some of you guys probably know how that goes. But um, uh, she's not due for oh, a few more months yet. But I'm um, going to try and get that 6.5 Creedmoor in the works as well. But um, it's going to happen. Uh, sooner or later, it will happen. So uh, it is on my list of things to do. So uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, comments, concerns, put that stuff down below. Uh, other than that, we'll get you guys some more videos as soon as we can. And um, I should be out this weekend uh, shoot some more video just playing uh, the crops are in now so 
it's um, we're going into July and the crops are in so a lot of our shooting property is is kind of reduced so I don't have all the long-range capabilities I do until the crops are coming out again so um, be on the lookout for more long-range shooting videos um, you know come like October November ish so um, all right I think it's about it take it easy check you guys later